You remember this amazing map? I do. It was my favorite DLC ever that come out on Call of Duty Black Ops. Goddamn Rick Dolphin. But do you also remember this awesome gun that everybody loved, even in the sing or not single player, um, multiplayer? Wow. Jesus, fell already. But do you remember how people used to use it with the suppressor and it was really good and overpowered? Turns out it was really good in zombies too. I remember playing Ascension and making it to round 40 with my friends. And you didn't even need a pack of points to some bitch. It was that powerful. Now, it has been touched up a little bit. A little bit remastered. It sounds a little bit different. The reload time is kind of slower. But still, overall, the gun is extremely good. It, I have no complaints about this gun, really, besides the reload time. The pack of punch version is really good, too. It really doesn't change anything on the ammo that I can remember. But I know it's still a really good gun. It's a few shots to the head. Now we skipped a little bit forward, and now you can see the Galil or Lamentation. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Upgrade it. Now, I know it's only round 14. That's It's not necessary to have a pack of punch weapon this early. But this is my first time playing this map remastered. I just wanted to check all the kinks out. By the way, I fucking love this map. I made a video. It's going to be up pretty soon. I hope a lot of people watch it. This map is just awesome. I can't wait to play it with more people. I'm probably going to do a few more uploads on it. This map in general... <sighs> see, Even the fireworks on this map work. Especially if you run a train. And I can't wait to show you all the next clip of this new thing I guess I found out in the Pack-a-Punch Zone or Area 51, whatever people want to call that. I like to call it the Pack-a-Punch Zone because that's what it really is. Now I'm about to go in the Pack-a-Punch right now. I was going to go upgrade the 48 Dredge. I think that's what it's called. I should make a video on that because that weapon alone, I know it's LMG, but it's fucking good. It's worth it. It really is worth it. But this weapon is hands down really good. This weapon is too, obviously. I throw a little bit of this in there. But the Galil is really worth it. It's really good. Does it, is it as good as M16 or the M16 upgraded? That's debatable. I'm going to make another video on that because I still don't know what's better. But you're about to see here one of the downgrades to the weapon. As you see, he actually had to pull the pin back. So the bullet, or the little thing down there will allow you to shoot. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh that's realistic. That's how it should be in all games. Well in Call of Duty games you really don't, I'm not used to that. I'm used to Call of Duty taking the cheap way where you get to sprint and switch weapon real quick. It's okay, it's nothing too big. That's just my only problem, but hey, it's whatever, I'll get over it. But if you notice, I have all the zombies coming from one area. And yeah, I just annihilate them with this gun. It eats through them really fast. Yes, it is only round 15, but the farther you go and throughout the video, you'll see how it's still pretty good. One thing I wanted to add is that this weapon does make it pretty far. It makes it, I think, two, three headshots on round 35, 36. Um, it does make it pretty far. The Galil unupgraded, I am not sure. I wish I would have tested that, but upgraded, it is a very reliable weapon to have. By the way, the fireworks, I know I probably said this dozen times already, is a really good pack-a-punch perk to use. It takes out groups. It's better than Blast Furnace to me. Everybody seems to like that one. Deadwire is really good too. And Thunderwall is pretty good, but that has a smaller radius compared to fireworks. And fireworks literally shoots through and around everything. The gun is worth it. Um, it's really up to you what you want to use for the pack-a-punch perk. I just prefer fireworks. And as you see, they took off the stupid, like, little scope you would get on Black Ops 1. When you would pack a punch this, you would get a scope that was completely unnecessary. It gave you a stupid little dot that was, it took up the whole scope to it. I think it's an ACOG. And the gun is not extremely loud anymore. Black Ops 1, it was really loud. Just like, was the HK-21? And the hammer from Black Ops 2. Those guns were extremely loud. Those, those guns aren't in here, but this. I'm just adding that in. But, yeah. It's a pretty good gun. You should check it out. I know this is probably one of the guns you're like, well, no shit. It's really good from Black Ops 1. Well, they changed it a little bit. 
the reload time is a little bit slower. It sounds different. It feels different, but it, it does feel better than Black Ops 1. I'll tell you that much. I remember, playing, man, I had so much fun playing this map with this gun. I did use the 48 dredge a lot of the time. The 48 dredge is really good, too. I know this is a weapon, or a little weapons guide about the Galil, but... Just look. Just look. I mean, that's not the gun. That's the perk for Pack-a-Punch, but look how it takes him down. I highly recommend you get this gun, especially for this map. I highly recommend. I also highly recommend you play this map by yourself before you play it online. Because by yourself, it's a more challenging. You know, honestly, I don't know. I just, I just love this map. I feel like it's well balanced and well challenged, and it's not too hard, not too easy, and they keep it interesting, especially with the hacker device. Yeah, um, especially the excavation when they come in. I know this is not a really map guide. This is a weapon guide, but this map is too good. But like I said earlier, is it a good enough weapon to go up against M16? It probably is a little bit better than the M16, I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to make another video, and I have two more videos coming out after this. So, hopefully if you're watching this, you can come all the way to the end and watch it. You look at the other videos. But I'm going I'm to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Zombie Chronicles, Moon Remastered. I'm Josh Willow 13 thank you for watching, and have a good day. And... I hope this gun is worth it on your adventures. faster after all this time. My patience is at an end. You were my patience. <laughs> 